So again, it's going to be 40 times 2 to the 23rd. How do we get that? Um, and you can do it in pieces or you can, since this is a scientific calculator, um, you can actually just plug in every single thing to get the total answer. But in here, I'm going to break it into two pieces. I'm going to raise 2 to the 23rd first. So if you go to your calculator, you're going to press 2. Then you're going to hit the button which says y to the x. Some calculator says x to the y, and it's exactly the same thing. And others have a little symbol to represent power. Uh, it's like a little upward arrow. It means raise to the power. Okay, so 2 to the 23rd, you just hit 2, hit the power or x to the y, and just write the power, which is 23, and press equal. That's going to be um, the, the solution for 2 to the 23rd power. So it's going to be, let's see, it's 8 million. 388,000, 388,000, 608, and we multiply that times 40, and press equal, and so we can see that is 335 million, so f of 24 is equals to 335 million 544 so that's how many bacteria there will be on the 24th hour okay that's how many you will have and as you can see we then have to do day one and then day two day three i mean day hour one the first hour the second hour the third hour because we have the explicit formula okay okay let's go to another one so this one says daniel has 20 30 dollars in his piggy bank on the first day he deposits two dollars every day how much will he have on the 420th day? And so, again, we need the initial point. And the initial point is what he starts with, which is $30. And then the comma ratio, actually it's not the comma ratio, we're adding, so the pattern is gonna be to add two dollars okay and so my function is gonna be f of n is equals to the initial point which is 30 my pattern which is adding two and remember that when we're adding or subtracting, that's going to be uh, an arithmetic sequence. Okay, let me write that here. When adding or subtracting, this is called arithmetic sequence. Okay, so and whenever we're adding or subtracting, whenever it's an arithmetic sequence, we're going to multiply by n minus 1. So n minus 1 is not going to be a power like in here. This is a geometric sequence. When we're multiplying, it's a power. When we're adding, it's going to be a factor. We're going to multiply by n minus 1. Okay, and so... I think I want to go back to this, so go back to the top of it, and we can say that this is a geometric sequence, and it's when we multiply, okay? The pattern is to multiply, multiply, and it can be multiplication by a whole number or multiplication by a, by a fraction, 
Okay, so again, if we're multiplying, if the pattern is to multiply, it, it's called geometric sequence. If we're adding, it's called an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so now this is asking for us to figure out how much money we'll have after 420 days have gone by. And so that means that my N will be 420. So we're going to say find F of 420 which will be equals to 30 plus 2 times 420, which is my n, minus 1. And that's equals to 30 plus 2 times 420 minus 1 is 419. We multiply that. And according to pendants, before we add, we have to multiply. So 2 times 419 is 2 times 9 is 18, carry 1. 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 is 3. And 2 times 4 is 8. Finally, we add 30 plus 838. So it's going to be 868. So on the 420th day, I'm going to have eight hundred and sixty eight dollars okay so on the 420th day and actually it's Daniel not me Daniel will have eight hundred sixty eight dollars Okay, I should have put also uh, in complete sentence the other the other one, but I'll leave it at that. Okay. Now let's try something different. You were given scenarios and you found some information. You were able to apply it, which is what our objective is. But what about if I ask you to create a scenario given the explicit formula? As you can see, this is my initial point I'm multiplying so this means that it's and this information is useful so that you can because later on we're gonna be um, identifying the type of sequence if we have multiplication with a power that means that this is a geometric geometric sequence okay so that you can start thinking so that means that something is, and is multiplying by two, so you start with three, and then something is doubling, doubling. So maybe a good scenario, and again, during class, I'm gonna be asking this. So maybe I start with three dogs. Every year, they double. And you might even want to ask, how many dogs will I have um, after seven years? Okay, that will be a scenario. Maybe you will go with something that also reproduces fast is bacteria. So I dropped a candy and it caught. It caught three bacteria. It doubled, or the bacteria doubled every, I don't know, let's see, every 20 minutes. Okay. How many bacteria? Will there be 
after two hours. So in here, all you have to do is create a scenario. You don't have to solve it. You just have to come up with something. Now, something that is tricky right now, and you don't have to worry until a couple more days. Um, 20 minutes, that stands for, so my N, for one 20 minutes, that's one, one period. Okay, another 20 minutes. So in 40 minutes, that's N will be two. Two periods of 20 minutes. So don't worry about this too much. Just think of it as, uh, every every some time okay um, so what about another so what is going on in here now we're adding so what type of sequence is when we're adding well this is called the arithmetic arithmetic sequence when we're adding or subtracting, that means that it's arithmetic. Okay, and maybe a scenario could be, I have, or I, I have eaten two cookies. I've eaten two cookies. I eat three every day. How many? Cookies will I have eaten on the fifteenth day? And I'm going to share, or I'm going to give you another example, but I'm not going to write it. Um, is maybe I have two dollars in my piggy bank. I save three, three dollars every week or every day. Okay, how many or how much money will I have on the fifteenth day or how much money will I have on the tenth day? Okay, so that could be another scenario rela related to money. This is what I start with, and then um, how much I will be saving after that one more thing is that for arithmetic sequences you have the initial point what you're adding or subtracting and n minus one is not in exponent form is a factor is right next to the the pattern okay so be careful with that Especially that now we're going to be identifying what kind of, of, not only what kind of formula it is, but what kind of sequence it will produce. Okay? For geometric, you have the initial point, you're multiplying, and n minus 1 is exponent, is not a factor. Okay? Arithmetic, addition, and with n minus 1 as a factor. Geometric multiplication and minus one as an exponent. Okay, now in here it says I also need you to identify type of sequences. Identify the type of formula as recursive or explicit. So you're going to tell me if it's recursive or if it's explicit. And then you're also going to identify it as a geometric or arithmetic sequence. So if you have f of n equals 3 and f of n equals 3 plus 3 multiplied by n minus 1. So this can be tricky and you might think that it's You might think that it's, um, what do you call it? That it's geom uh, geometric. First of all, because of the addition, we know that it's arithmetic, right? Um, in regards to whether it's recursive or explicit, for it to be recursive, it has to have f of n minus one, okay? This is the recursive, it needs to include f of n minus 1. In here we don't have f. So even though 
it has an initial point to begin with you wouldn't have this and it's it's actually a explicit formula again only because it doesn't have f of n minus 1 now how could you change it to make to be recursive if you have f of 1 equals 3 then this will have 3 plus 3 f of n minus 1 for the next one you have the initial point you have your common ratio and you have exponent so this will be also explicit because it doesn't have f of n minus 1 plus you don't have f of 1 equals the initial point so that makes it explicit as well now when it's multiplication we're gonna say that it's geometric sequence okay whoops arithmetic okay arithmetic because it's adding geometric because we're multiplying the next one again um, this is simplified remember that we did distributive property on lesson 7.3 I believe um, and we ended up getting rid of the n minus 1 by doing distributive property so this is also explicit this one doesn't have f of n minus 1 and there is addition involved so it's going to be arithmetic it's an arithmetic sequence now for this one we do have f of n minus 1 and we have the initial point remember for the recursive formula it's formed of two different parts f of 1 equals the initial point okay this is the initial point and then the other one has f of n minus 1 with the pattern next to it sometimes in this side sometimes in this side okay so that's the pattern so this is definitely recursive and since it's multiplication we call it geometric we say that it's geometric sequence okay now for the next one we have some more examples and so I'm just going to ask you to determine whether it's arithmetic or geometric. You don't have to, we already know that these, all of these are explicit formulas. So if we're adding and we have n minus 1, that will be arithmetic. Okay. Um, if we're adding and we have an exponent, and the exponent doesn't even have n. Remember that the exponent n minus 1 is only used when there is multiplication. So this would be neither. It's not a geometric because they're uh, combining kind of components of an arithmetic and a geometric sequence, but it's not even n. In here, we can say that we're subtracting. This is like a simplified one. We're subtracting and then when we're adding or subtracting the n should be uh, in base form it shouldn't be an, an exponent so this is arithmetic okay in here again add, adding cannot have exponent the n should be down here so it can be n as a base, then that will make it arithmetic. But since it's an exponent, this will be only if this was being multiplied. So this again is neither. It's not a geometric and it's not an arithmetic uh, sequence. Finally, this has a good combination. We have multiplication, exponent, so that's a geometric. A geometric sequence so let me summarize very fast geometric has in the base its multiplication the 
the bases are being multiplied and the n is in the exponent n is in the exponent it should be as part of the power okay for arithmetic Um, it should be adding or subtracting. And the n should not be a power, it should be down here. So n is not in the exponent. Oops. It's more like a factor, okay? Like like this example, or part of a term when it's simplified like this example, okay? So I hope this information helps you, and now you're ready to do 7.5.